Hi, this is Dagan Rich from HealthBearings.com. Today we're going to show you how to use a hard, hardwood floor edger. Uh, it's a great little tool. If you, you can already see in this room, we've already sanded the floor. You can catch that on another video that we have out. But what the sander doesn't do is get right to the edge of the wood. You can see that right here. How this is this was untouched by the sander, and this is you know freshly sanded. Well, this edger solves that deal. And I can show you a before and after down here. This is, this is how close the edger gets um, once we use it. And this is where we haven't yet got. So you can see it gets right next to it. It gets close enough to the wood here and, and the edges. The quarter round will take care of what's left. You can get within, within a quarter of an inch of your molding with the edger. You can get within three or four inches with your drum sander. And to get into the corners, we have this multi-tool, our, our famous DeWalt multi-tool that just does everything. And look at this, this uh, addition is, uh, it's a pad with, and they sell these Velcro on sanding pads. And this is gonna get us into the corners. And I'll just do that real quick and then we'll go back to the edge. There you go. That's simple to get the final, the final part finished, but uh, this is the, the beefy part that we're gonna show you today. And it is, it's pretty stout. It's about 30 pounds, maybe something like that. And when you turn it on, it wants to run. So you have to have a, a good hold on. It's a, it's a pretty decent workout. Probably anybody could do it, but um, it's a lot more work than it looks. Um, how it works is a drum on the bottom of this, and uh, probably all models will be different, but for us, to put a pad on there, it's just a simple half inch uh, box end wrench, and, and you take this screw off, or this bolt off, and it, it's the only thing basically that's holding the pad on in the middle and it goes into a depression there so that it's actually not rubbing on the floor. So here's a brand new pad. We're using 100 grit. We used 100 grit on the drum sander and we're matching that with 100 grit on this edger. We want to make sure that the grits match up so you get about the same wear or the same amount of, of uh, finish taken off. The key to this is starting with the, the least, least heavy grit, so the higher number, and work your way. If you find out your floors need more taken off than what 100 grit will do, go down to 80 and then to 60. Our floors are in really good shape. We just want the finish off and uh, 100 grit is more than enough. And so you, basically what you're doing is just screwing this, this metal ring onto the sandpaper. It holds it in place so it won't spin. And the weight of this machine, you can see how flappy this is, the weight of this machine holds the sandpaper to the floor. Now this is a little more dusty than the drum sander. That's okay, I mean, just so, you, just so you're aware, you can see the drum sander, the way it operates is it brings that dust up and into the bag. And this one is just kind of pushing it around on the ground. So there's a, a little bit of different mechanics in that. But nonetheless, it's not super, Super nasty, uh, just a little bit dirty. All right, so now that you got that on there, this is the, you can see on this thing, this is the part that you're gonna get right next to the wall. This is good, this, this and your sandpaper will spin together once it's sitting on the ground. So this gets you really close to the edge. And there's an on-off switch right here, located next to those of us who are right-handed, it's real nice. You just pick it up off the ground before you turn it on, turn it on. Always when you start a tool and turn the tool off, make sure it's off the ground so it doesn't mar your floors. 
And then it's as simple as putting it on the ground and letting her go. Now, some of these boards, I've noticed on the edges here, some of these boards have a little bit of tilt to them and it's to how the installer put them in. And so, and you've got some unevenness. So you have to kind of tilt this in some places because right here on this one, I can see this one's raised up a little bit above this board. So this will come off real good and they'll leave this. So I'll have to come back to this edge and go right in there. But nonetheless, you have, it's one of those things you just figure out as you go as far as what that particular area needs. And then it's just uh, turn it on and hang on for the ride. As you can see, there's a little bit of sawdust here, but not too much. It's easily swept. Uh, other than that, it's uh, it's a simple little tool. I'm already sweating like a banshee. It's it's a good workout. So uh, well, it's also super humid today. Um, but probably anybody can do this job. Uh, save you a ton of cash as opposed to having to hire it out. So I'd say give it a try. Um, we've been at this. Oh, uh, we probably have an hour and a half into this room. And I'd say in two hours, another 30 minutes or, or 45 minutes, we'll be done. And uh, that's not a lot of time to get amazing results. All that's left after this edging is to hit the corners with multi-tool, and then we'll stain. I hope this helps with your uh, floor finishing expeditions. It's, it's, really a great, it's a really great opportunity to do something like this and get the satisfaction of a beautiful new floor um, from an old, nasty stained floor. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We've got lots of videos coming out. We'd love to have you uh, be uh, notified of that. Uh, there's a bell when you subscribe that you can click on, and then you'll get notified directly whenever we upload a video. So be sure and do that. Also, if you get a like or a comment, let us, yeah, give us some input. Let us know what your projects are doing. If you've got a question, go ahead and ask. We'd love to answer your questions. Thanks for viewing.